Kawasaki Heavy Industries Motorcycle and Engine Company is a division of Kawasaki Heavy Industries that produces motorcycles, ATVs, utility vehicles, jet ski personal watercraft, and general purpose gasoline engines. Before the 2011 fiscal year it was called Consumer Products and Machinery. Its slogan is, Let the good times roll. Topic: Motorcycles. Kawasaki's aircraft company began the development of a motorcycle engine in 1949. The development was completed in 1952 and mass production started in 1953. The engine was an air-cooled 148 cc OHV four-stroke single cylinder with a maximum power of 4 PS, 2.9 kilowatts, 3.9 horsepower at 4,000 revolutions per minute. In 1954, the first complete Kawasaki motorcycle was produced under the name of Maihatsu, a subsidiary of Kawasaki Aircraft. In 1960, Kawasaki completed construction of a factory dedicated exclusively to motorcycle production and bought Maguro Motorcycles. <laughs> All-terrain vehicles and utility vehicles Kawasaki's first ATV was the three-wheeled KLT200, which debuted in 1981. Its first four-wheel ATV, the Bayou 185, was introduced in 1985 and in 1989, its first model with four-wheel drive, the Bayou 304 x 4 Today, Kawasaki's ATV lineup includes a wide range of recreational and utility ATVs, Kawasaki's Mule multi-use light equipment utility vehicle combines an ATV with a pickup truck. The first Mule was produced in 1988. Kawasaki now calls their utility vehicles side-by-side -side vehicles. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Watercraft. In 1973, Kawasaki introduced a limited production of stand-up models as designed by the recognized inventor of jet skis, Clayton Jacobson II. In 1976, Kawasaki then began mass production of the JS400A. JS400s came with 400cc two-stroke engines and hulls based upon the previous limited release models. It became the harbinger of the success jet skis would see in the market up through the 1990s. In 1986 Kawasaki broadened the world of jet skis by introducing a two-person model with lean-in sport style handling and a 650cc engine, dubbed the Kawasaki X2. Then in 1989, they introduced their first two-passenger sit-down model, the Tandem Sport TS with a step-through seating area. In 2003, Kawasaki celebrated the jet ski brand by releasing a special 30th anniversary edition of its current stand-up model, the SXR, which has seen a revival of interest in stand-up jet skiing. The X2 has also been updated, based on the SXR platform and re-released in Japan. Kawasaki continues to produce three models of sit-downs, including many four-stroke models. The four-stroke engines have come on since the late 1990s, with the help of superchargers and the like the engines can output up to 300 horsepower 220 kilowatts, as seen in the Kawasaki Ultra 300X. Jet Ski is the brand name of personal watercraft manufactured by Kawasaki. The name, however, has become a genericized trademark for any type of personal watercraft. Topic. Racing Kawasaki's traditional racing color is green. Many Kawasaki racing teams are called Team Green. The Monster Energy Kawasaki Team Green provides a support program developing amateur motocross races. <laughs> Grand Prix, MotoGP Kawasaki's first title was with Dave Simmons in 1969 when they won the 125cc World Championship. Kawasaki dominated the 250cc and 350cc Grand Prix classes from 1978 to 1982 winning four titles in each category. 
With the introduction of the four-stroke engines into MotoGP in 2002, Kawasaki decided to take part in the new MotoGP World Championship. Kawasaki entered the championship in 2003 with 250cc Grand Prix racer Harold Eccles' team Eccles. In 2003, the Kawasaki Racing Team was formed after Kawasaki had developed the new 990cc ZXRR bike throughout 2002 and raced it in the last three races of the 2002 MotoGP season. The racing activities were managed by Harold Eccles' team based in Germany. It wasn't until 2004 that Kawasaki had two riders, Alex Hoffman and Shinya Nakano, who raced for the entire season. Nakano placed third in Japan that year, achieving Kawasaki's first podium finish in MotoGP. In 2007, Kawasaki split from Harold Eccles because of Eccles' involvement with a competitor's MotoGP activities, which forced Kawasaki to terminate the relationship immediately. Kawasaki formed Kawasaki Motors Racing, a European subsidiary of Kawasaki Heavy Industries responsible for managing the racing activities of the MotoGP team and any other motorcycle racing activities Kawasaki may enter in the future. For the first time since Kawasaki returned to the premier class of motorcycle racing, the team became a complete in-house factory team. On January 9, 2009, Kawasaki announced it had decided to suspend its MotoGP racing activities from 2009 season onward and reallocate management resources more efficiently. The company stated that it will continue racing activities using mass-produced motorcycles as well as supporting general race-oriented consumers. Grand Prix Motorcycle Racing Topic. Superbike Kawasaki's involvement in the World Superbike Championship started in 1990 with the USA-based team Muzzy Kawasaki, which managed the superbike activities until 1996. Between 1997 and 2002, Kawasaki gave factory backing to the Harold Eccles team, based in Germany, while Muzzy focused on the Armour Superbike domestic series. From 2003 to 2008, only privateer teams like Bertoki and PSG1 entered the World Championship, with small factory support. In 2009, Kawasaki officially returned to SBK with Paul Bird Motorsport, but after three seasons, in 2012, Kawasaki switched the factory support to the Spanish-based Provec Racing Team. Kawasaki has won several superbike racing championships. They won the Riders Superbike World Championship in 1993 with Scott Russell, two decades later in 2013 with Tom Sykes, and four times again 2015, 2016, 2017 and 2018 with Jonathan Rea. Also, the manufacturer has claimed nine Armour Superbike Championships with riders such as Eddie Lawson and Wayne Rainey. During the 1990s, they also dominated the Endurance World Championship. Superbike World Championship Arma Superbike Championship Endurance World Championship Topic Super Twin Kawasaki machinery has been pivotal in the development of Super Twin racing The racing machines are developed from the Kawasaki 650cc parallel twin commuter bike R6N or R6F the machines are then transformed through development into an 85 bhp race bike with top end speeds in excess of 150 miles per hour. The KMR Kawasaki Racing Team are one of the leading race teams in the category, whose team members include Ryan Farquhar and Jeremy McWilliams. Isle of Man TT Super Twin Race. Topic: Isle of Man TT. Kawasaki has enjoyed numerous successes at the Isle of Man TT races. The mark has notched up a total of 31 victories which include three victories in the sidecar TT. Notable achievements include Mick Grant's 1975 outright lap record of 109.82 miles per hour, 176.74 kilometers per hour, finally beating the previous record set by Mike Halewood and which had stood since 1967. Topic. Motocross Riders on Kawasaki motorcycles won races in the British Motocross Championship, Motocross Des Nations, Armour Supercross Championship, Sidecar Cross and Supermoto. Championship wins 
1995 Stefan Evitz, FIM Motocross World Championship 250 cc 29 times the Armour Motocross Championship Topic. See also Kawasaki Motors Racing List of Kawasaki Motorcycles